catheterization is an invasive procedure. Prior to catheterizing a patient, it is imperative that a full explanation of the procedure is provided, using terminology which the patient can understand. Using pictures can be helpful, and if necessary, an interpreter may need to be involved. Any questions must be answered and informed consent gained. A clear explanation and reassurance can help to reduce anxiety and enable a more comfortable insertion of the catheter. Make sure you carry out a risk assessment. Ask the patient if they have any allergies and find out if they've had any previous catheterizations, urological, urogynecological procedures or surgery and if there were any complications from any of them. When it's time to carry out the procedure, identify a suitable environment. This may be the patient's bed or in a clinical treatment area. If required, help the patient remove their clothes and undergarments from the waist down. Then, help them to get into a supine or other suitable position, supported with pillows for comfort. Cover the patient with a sheet to maintain their dignity until you are ready to undertake the procedure. Then, wash your hands in line with your trust hygiene policy. Make sure you are fully prepared and have everything you require for the procedure. Identify and clean a suitable surface to lay out your equipment. In a hospital setting, this is usually a dressing trolley. In a patient's home, it may be a tray or similar flat surface. Gather the equipment required. This should include a disposable apron, two pairs of sterile gloves. This may vary depending on whether your trust follows the Master Manual or ANTT. A catheterization pack a suitable solution to clean the genital area. Check your local policy to make sure you are using an approved solution. Sterile lubricating gel, the correct catheter, if applicable, a syringe to remove the existing catheter. A syringe with a suitable solution to inflate the balloon, a urinary drainage bag and a suitable catheter fixation device. Take the trolley and equipment to the patient and wash your hands Put on the apron, open your catheter and position a waste bag. Using a non-touch technique, open your equipment onto the sterile field. Remove the sheet covering the lower half of the body and position a towel or disposable pad under the patient's bottom to protect the bed. If the patient's position has changed, ask her to get into a suitable position for you to carry out the procedure, helping if required. A supine position is usually best, with knees bent, hips flexed and feet about 60 centimeters apart. Alternatively, it may be easier to catheterize the patient with her lying on her side. Wash your hands and put on a pair of sterile gloves. Place a sterile towel between the legs to create a protective field. Remember to reassure the lady and explain each step of the procedure to ease any anxiety she may be feeling. Using low linting swabs, part the labia with your non-dominant hand and clean the meatal area using a solution according to your local policy. Wipe from top to bottom using one swab per wipe to avoid contamination from the vagina and anus. Take hold of the syringe of lubricating gel and apply a little gel to the meatal opening. The gel sometimes aids identification of the urethra. Gently insert the nozzle of the syringe into the urethra and slowly instill the 6 ml of gel. If using a gel with local anaesthetic, wait for 3 to 5 minutes before inserting the catheter. You may have to hold the syringe in place to prevent the gel from leaking out while you wait. Remove the gloves, wash your hands or use a suitable cleansing gel. Then put on another pair of sterile gloves depending on which procedure you follow. Take hold of the catheter in its plastic sleeve and container to collect the urine. A urine drainage bag may be pre-connected to the funnel for convenience if preferred. Place the container on the sterile sheet, taking care you do not contaminate your gloves and place the funnel end of the catheter in the container. 
tear off the plastic sleeve at the tip of the catheter, ensuring the tip remains sterile. Part the labia with your non-dominant hand and gently insert the tip of the catheter into the meatus. Gently advance the catheter along the urethra. If resistance is met at the sphincter, ask the lady to give a little cough or to relax as if they are going to pass urine. Once urine starts to flow, insert the catheter a further couple of centimetres to ensure the catheter is not resting in the bladder neck. Inflate the balloon according to the manufacturer's instructions. Ensure the catheter is supported with a catheter retaining strap to minimise the risk of trauma to the urethra and bladder neck. Make sure you clean off any excess gel from the meatal area. Check that the patient is comfortable and help get them dressed if required. Dispose of the waste materials, measure the urine drained from the bladder, dispose of your gloves and wash your hands. Ensure the following are documented in the notes. The reason for catheterization, the details of the catheter including the make, size, length, batch number and expiry date along with the type and amount of fluid used to inflate the balloon including batch number and expiry date of fluid if required. The batch number and expiry date of the lubricating gel and the amount inserted. Any problems during the catheterization process. The date when the catheter should be reviewed along with the amount of urine which drained from the bladder and any other relevant information, for example, whether a specimen of urine was taken.